Earlier this month, I was blessed to join dozens of other women at Mount Tabor Church of God for their second women's retreat. During that time, I talked with the ladies about influence the next gen influencing the next generation, and I mentioned the value of FCA. Well, at that moment, one of the ladies raised her hand and asked, what is FCA? You know, Andy, that caused me to stop thinking. I understand FCA quite well because I'm around you quite regularly as the district director of FCA, but there are people out there who don't yet get it. So uh, just for those of us at home who might have that question as well, just give us a brief synopsis. What is FCA? Well, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes started 62 years ago as a camp for college athletes, and it's expanded across the world. And we have 1,200 staff members on board basically to reach out to coaches and to athletes and those uh, who both influence. We know sports is a huge part of our society, that people give up many things for sports to either watch a game or to go play a game or to have their kids' games uh, be the focal point of their vacations during the summer or spring break trip. Sports is so pivotal in our country, and so why not use sports like we do here at the TV station with our sports coverage on WOSN and also on Sports Report to use it as an avenue to share the gospel. And so that's what we do here throughout the area in the high schools uh, with different coaches groups, with different events as well. So if individuals are at home thinking, I want my child involved with this, I want my grandchild involved with this, of course they can go to their school and find out if an organization is available, but can they contact you directly to find out more? Definitely, you can always call me here at the station, 339-4444, or email me, alynch at wtlw.com. We also have a website, district8fca, that's district, the number eight, and fca.org.